welcome to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> wow, we've had our first decent frost. So yesterday, oh, there's a fox running along there. Yesterday we had a little bit of frost and it hung around till about eight o'clock up state. Just the sun came up, it was a clear day and we it all melted off. So I've come down to a place called Dedham. And in 2010, I shot this picture and this was a panoramic made up of 13 different frames and the first time that i've seen anybody photograph those trees i mean it may well have been done before but i couldn't find anything on the internet i was really really pleased with it it's been done by several people since but i've come back to photograph them again i came back here um, about a month ago to scout out what they were looking like and they do look different and i'll show you that in a bit um, but on my way down the river and it's about a mile further that way to that location um, I'm on the way there I've got this beautiful scene I mean there's this frost hanging off all of these lovely pollarded willows um, that are standing by the river so I had to stop so I'm gonna photograph this and then put everything together um, and get going so I'll show you that in a moment but oh it's cold today which is great I guess I was expecting fog obviously it was it was said uh, on one of the apps that it would be 100% fog but it's not foggy um, we've got a certain amount of mist but it just looks wonderful so I'm going to photograph this and then um, we'll get going oh lovely Look. <laughs> so one of them to the left has fallen down a little bit, which is a love it makes a lovely kind of leading line. Got loads of ducks in the water, it must be freezing. Sunrise is here. Uh, magical conditions, I'm really pleased. I've got two photographers all run up the bank that way, one up there, um, who are photographing like mad as well, and I'm gonna photograph. So this may not be a lot of talking to camera bits because I need to get some pictures here, but what a magical scene really looks lovely i've gone with a four by three crop um because i can i can just want to get a full frame of this um, and then we'll crop anything we need to do i've done the square i'm going to shoot here and i'm going to run down that way and shoot some more because i think once the sun comes up this is going to start melting so um let's get to work oh, what a day this is gonna be oh. So you have to excuse the lack of beer roll, lack of me talking to camera today, but the conditions are just perfect. We've got a hoar frost. Um, and now the sun's just risen above the horizon. We've got sunrise, the light on those trees is just jaw dropping. I've had about four photographers around with me, which is lovely to see so many people out enjoying the hobby. Um, everybody's really excited. Some guys have made them move their way that way. I mean, I think wherever you photograph today, it's just gonna look amazing. So um, I'm gonna take a load more. I'll put them all on the screen for you so you can see. This one, by the way, I've got a polarizer on, which you may find a bit odd with the uh, reflections, but actually the polarizer isn't really taking any reflections out. What it is do, doing is darkening the sky a touch so we get a little bit of separation between these trees um, and the sky. <coughs> it looks very different now the sun's out than it did um, before sunrise. Um, sunrise, before sunrise, it was misty, magical. Now the sun's out, it looks just glistening and kind of more fairy-like, so um, <laughs> excuse the adjectives. <laughs> it's still freezing cold, so I'm hoping that the actual hoar frost might stay around, so there may be a load more pictures. So I might do some more pieces to camera, but um, just having the most marvelous day. And I think when you get conditions like this, you've just got to enjoy yourself. Uh, and make the most of it because we don't get it very often. Thank you. 
so I don't know if you can see the camera's really low here. We're photographing this scene here. I've got everything's iced over. <laughs> got a nice little little wooden structure. I don't know what it would have been. I don't know. I've no idea. Everything's frozen. A nice tree here in the mid ground. Um, there's a fisher fisherman actually. He's, I've just spoken to him. So isn't it a bit cold? He went, <laughs> cold. He's after pike, I believe. So he's fishing for pike. And we've got the river going round. And these trees just look wonderful. This photographs wherever you look. So this one here, I've got um, 1.3 seconds, F22 to get everything in focus. I'm focusing on that um, nearest post to capture all of the all of the lovely goodliness. And it's a really nice composition. I've done a couple actually. There's also a portrait picture, I think, going through with that tree there, which I'm gonna do next. Um, the problem you get with the days like today is it's so lovely you just want to photograph everything um, and then sometimes you can mess up and miss bits and go oh, i wish i'd have gone over there but i'm going to just say to myself just photograph what you've got properly and if you end up with two or three pictures then brilliant i mean there are thousands of pictures here but um you know that's that's, that's enjoy it while it lasts so I found a lovely scene here uh, with this little kind of wooden structure, then the curve of the little bit of bit of a runoff of the river um, over to that tree there. Then this lovely old pollarded willow tree over here. Um, if you look at the look at it closely, you can see there's a big trunk, which looks a lot older than the rest of it because it looks like it's got like, hair growing out of it. Well, that's called uh, pollarding, and they used to pollard um, these willow trees for like lovely straight twigs, which they used to use for thatching, I think, um, and building and that kind of stuff. Uh, they did it to quite recently, I think. It's still cut down nowadays, but looks a wonderful scene. So some people there, photographers, I don't know, fishermen over here, just magical. So I'm gonna do some more photographs that way now. Um, this, by the way, we've got the camera. I don't know if you can see the camera. Let me just turn you around so you can. and see where I'm set up here and my thoughts around it. So the camera's here, we've got a portrait, and I've got fairly low, I've only got two legs extended. I'm looking down onto this um, little structure here, and I wanted to get a bit of the river in, a bit of the water in um, around there. So I've got a polarizer on, and I've got a grad, because the sky is quite bright, just holding it back a little bit. Right, enough chatting, <laughs> let's get on. this scene ahead of me, in front of me. Um, what I like about this is if, there's interest throughout the shot. So there's leading lines with this, these kind of reeds that are all covered in the, the ice. Take me around, are those really interesting trees. I spotted them from way over there. Uh, and the light's kind of side lit, which is nice. So we've got three trees at varying stages. That one's fallen down, slightly bigger one bigger one, almost like a family. And this leading line here is taking me into it. The only problem I've got is there's some little bits of grass sticking up here. I found a little spot here, um, which kind of works, but I might have to clone that out because that kind of spoils it a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I'm going to shoot this and then we'll have a look in post, but it might be okay on its own. might be all right. Thank you. 
so let's shoot that now. We're gonna go 65-24. Look at the autumnal tree, the oak tree in there with the autumn colours. Oh, look at that cormorant. Is it? No, it's, yes, it is a cormorant, I think. And then we've got the lovely willow tree um, with this lovely frosty scene behind. So F11, 20th of a second. We've got this lovely leading line here, look, going through. And that will look good, I think. Um, maybe one with slightly more of the leading line in, just make sure we get the top of the tree in. And then I'm gonna go closer and shoot that from closer in, because the light on it now is superb. Right, let's do that, and I'll see you back over the tree. Wow! So I'm gonna wrap it up there. What a day I've had. It's been awesome. I mean, it's still really frosty. I think the hoar frost hang around. So I'll probably take a few more on the way back to the car, but it looks like a winter wonderland, which is brilliant. Um, must go back though, got things to do back at home. Um, people wanna go out in my family, so must be home for them. But wow, days like today do not come along very often. And when they do, you need to make the most of them. Have I? I think I have. I probably will think I haven't but I definitely am sure I have. Um, I've just taken loads of photographs. I'll put them all on the screen now. I've had the drone up, some lovely photographs with that. So hopefully you enjoy those. Thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you next Sunday, six o'clock. Until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. like now at the moment this is Belvia selected on the right hand side here and that's pulling out these colours which I do like actually um, I've got a mask on here 
No, there's no mask. That's straight out of the camera. The dynamic range on the GFX 50R is brilliant. Look at the, you can see there's even detail in there. I've pulled the highlights it back in just so you can see that. I don't mind that at all. We've gone up on the vibrance, we've gone up on the saturation. So that works well. I could though, I could have a look at how different the Astia looks. So if we keep an eye on here, and Astia just takes that richness away, makes it a little bit more pastely. I don't mind the velvet on this, but I'm going to use classic chrome. So I like playing around with these little simulations. It's not. I just want to jump in here and say what I'm talking about at the moment is um, the time when I used to use film and we would choose the film stock to suit the shoot. Provia would probably be what I would, would have picked. That's a kind of standard saturation. Compare Astia, Provia, not a great deal of difference. Astia, I think, is what we're going to go with, though. It's my preferred film simulation. I would have actually, having said I would have used Provia, I probably would have used Provia or Astia, depending on what we had in the fridge. It's not really a Velvia kind of day, but I had it, had the camera set on that anyway. But it doesn't really matter, because as you can see with the raw file, you can just change it. That's really nice. Now, there's a the thing I don't like is this kind of edge of the ice but I guess it works if that was a light trail which I thought it was to be honest I would get rid of it in Photoshop I might just get rid of bits like that what have we got there that old tree in the background looks lovely gives us some depth got some ducks there just love that so that's one crop we've also got and the computer catches up with me. We've also got that crop, which I quite like. So the tree and the reflection are balanced really, really nicely with these trees on the left here. Another crop there. This time we've got three ducks, which are a bit blurred, but that's okay. Um, and then this is quite nice. Again, with this one, I would probably be tempted just to get rid of this branch. In fact, and this looks like the rest of a duck there. So I'll probably clone this lot out. But I'll leave the stuff in at the bottom. This branch is nice. See those bits of leaves hanging off it. Often I have a look around a picture like this. If it's a really nice one, I'm going to print it. Certainly, I'll have a little look around, make sure I'm happy with everything. Um, it's a crow look sat in there bless him it was really busy out there there was photographers everywhere fishermen birds ducks ha <laughs> ha so this has got if you look at these settings on the right here we've got our whites and our highlights pumped up the shadows back a bit and I've increased the clarity which if I show you that you just watch the clarity it just makes the definition on those trees stand out a little bit more I don't want to overdo it I had it on 33 so somewhere around that range is fine and then the dehaze just makes everything mistier lighter there we go that's nice slightly different crop there I had one actually here with a longer shutter speed I think I remember and you can see that that's blurred the water. That's going to be the one I'm going to print, I think. Everything looks pretty sharp, though. Look at that. Beautiful. So, there we go. I um, hope you've enjoyed that. There's, I've got loads more here I haven't even looked at yet. Wow. This is when the sun... This was at sunrise, so the sun had come out. Um, we took some really... That's quite nice as well. I like that. You see how warm it is. To me, that's a little too warm. I need a little bit, mate, coming down the colour temperature, just a fraction. Just a little. I'm just rocking my hand on the trackpad. And I can see a difference. That looks wonderful, doesn't it? What a day that was. 
I hope you found this little segment interesting. Um, oh, there's a camera there, look. <laughs> I'll have to get rid of that. Um, but thanks ever so much for tuning in, and until next Sunday, take care of yourself. Stay very warm. See you again. Bye.